So far too many golfers get over the golf ball, feel like they put lots and lots of effort into the golf swing, but get that high, very soft flight. And we can see there, 86 mile an hour club head speed for only 132 yards carry. And yet when we watch the pros play, setup might be very similar, but it looks so effortless. And we see more speed, huge amount more ball speed, better striking and a huge difference in carry. So what we're gonna talk about in today's video is how with one area of focus, you're gonna change your impact position from being like this to much more like you see the best players in the world. So I think the first thing we need to talk about is why do most club golfers initially not get into that position? Why do we see much more of this? Now, as a general rule, golfers try and do five things. Let's see how many you try and do. Try and hit the ball, try and get the ball in the air, try and make the ball go straight, try and make the ball go further, and try and strike the ball correctly. And I think for a lot of golfers, it's the getting the ball in the air. So they're trying to get underneath the ball. And what that causes is even though if the backswing's good, as they're coming down, this angle here gets lost really early. So it creates that kind of scooping motion, adds loft to the golf club, very often gets the low point behind the golf ball. So the club's kind of either hitting the ground or traveling up with lots of loft. And it's just a very glancing blow. Whereas the best players in the world, they get back, downswing, the lower body moves towards the target, then the upper body unwinds, then the hands and arms go, and the last thing in the race is the club head that's getting there. So that's the kind of concept I want you to feel, is that whatever you would normally be doing for that weak, soft flight, I want you to think about from the top, we're gonna to move towards the target, turn the body and try and let the hands lead. So we're gonna maintain, hold on to that as long as we can, and then almost feel like you throw the club down into the ground. Now it will feel hugely different. And what I would say initially, if you're doing this working through the video with me and you miss a couple to the right, that's okay. So we want that feel. And even for me, that probably feels I move a little bit earlier onto that lead side. So, what we're seeing in before, club head winning the race, popping the ball in the air, no control, and just not a particularly impressive shot for the speed going in. But we're gonna rehearse that little move, and like we said, club head is the last thing in the race, rather than the club head winning the race. So we're gonna get there, Feels good as a practice swing. That was great. So we see good club head speed, 89 mile an hour, low point ahead, so the club's traveling down. The launch angle's almost half what it was before. Ball speed jumps up, and more importantly, carry jumps up a huge amount. Now, obviously mine went dead straight, and I did say potentially you might miss right. And if you were, it's because you'll have done this. So we're still gonna see low point ahead, club traveling down, launch angle much lower, and carry still out there. But if you're somebody who has always released the club this way to square the club face up, if I just keep the club there and move forward, you can see that club face is gonna start pointing more to the right. So all you need to feel is when we're getting that movement, we're twisting the shaft, getting those knuckles a bit more down to promote forward shaft lean, ball and then ground contact. Now it might sound like there's a lot going on there, so you don't wanna say have to work on all of it in one go. The key for a lot of people is if you can get that timing correct on the way down, and like I said, it's very noticeable how different that is coming into the ball rather than this way. That last one, no power, no control. First one, 
lots of power with potentially lots more control. So we're going to set up their lower body, feel like the hands really throw that club down into the ground in front. So again, we're set up. Now turned over a bit more than I wanted, but again, low point ahead, lots and lots of speed, lots and ball speed, launching low and a huge difference in distance. So again, from there, we move, upper body's turning, I'm not releasing the club, and then I'm just firing the club last minute, feel like I'm throwing it down into the ground. Now, I do this with pupils all the time, and the look on their face when they hit that one, it's like playing a different game. So that's what we want from you. Get up there, focus on the movement, Wasn't the best strike, but again, club traveling down, launching lower, ball speed dropped off a little bit, but we're still seeing lots and lots of carry. Now comment below, I know that's a missed green probably, but that's fine. Really very different timing. Remember, we never want the club on a full shot winning the race. Got to be the last thing that gets there from the ground up. Stand there, hit another ripper, and if you can change that timing, you're going to see more club head speed, more ball speed, nice crisp strike, and more carry like that one at 189 than you've ever seen before. Now, it is important that you potentially do that without the ball to begin with. Get the feel of what the movement's going to be like. We are looking to launch the ball lower, get the energy from the club head into the golf ball. And if you can practice that and get comfortable and take it onto the golf course, well then you're gonna start striking it like the pros and less like you normally do.